Okay, um, I'm James here, recording for a Young Earth TV. Uh, I've got Andy from Campai for Learning. Okay, um, are you, um, what are you here for? <laughs> I'm here for. Um, obviously, I've come for the Young Dads TV launch, but I've come more as a partner in terms of hopefully working with Young Dads TV. I'm a manager of a Moodle platform called dadoodle.net. And basically what it does is it allows dads to actually register themselves for free. It's free software on there, free um, useful web links, free resources, free activities. And the hope is that dads will register on the site and use all these different things to support their children's learning and their own learning. So we've just been making the stop motion animation um, with you guys just after the... After the um, the launch so we're hoping that a lot of the dads not necessarily now obviously if you guys are younger children maybe in a few years once you've honed your skills you're about to use this with your children because we've done this in children's centers nurseries like three-year-olds plus and you're about to make your own um, animations and the hope is hopefully that young dads tv can develop a course on dad who also nationwide dads could access this and develop their own own skills or whatever you guys want to develop Great. Um, what do you think of Young Dads TV? Fantastic. I've got a um, two-year-old daughter, I'm 27, so when I had her, I was 25, so that made me a young yeah. dad. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, kind of. Um, and watching the video with chucking up the baby and different things and the nappy one, they were just hilarious. Yeah. And it's amazing because I've, I'm, I've, I've originally trained as a nursery nurse and done lots of things, but nothing prepares you for yeah. being a dad, I don't think. And I think watching those videos, it kind of strips it bare in terms of being a dad and actually gets you to think about the key, the important yeah. things as opposed to all the mumbo jumbo and all the lengthy kind of guides you get. I think actually watching that and realising the kind of the key things about the nappy changing, the kind of the basic things you need to do before you actually even think about doing anything else is on the website, which is ideal, which is why I've kind of hooked up and linked up with, with Scott and hopefully you guys and do some more stuff in the future. So it's a brilliant site. Um, what does um, a dad mean to you? <laughs> That's a deep question. Um, I don't know. I think it's just always being there and being being a good role model and teaching your children things. And I don't know. It's a massive, massive job, isn't it? I think it's kind of you can't always be there. It's just knowing that the, knowing that you're there and, and that you're supporting. And obviously, financially, if you can, being able to support and a whole. I could write a book on it. I think in terms of what you need to be doing and what you could be doing. Um, I don't know, I just think it's the big things being yeah. there and obviously being somebody to talk to. And, um, but I think it can adapt, can't it, and be changed. Obviously you need to, to, to give out the discipline sometimes, but also it's having a laugh and having fun. So hugely diverse role, I think, definitely. Okay, um, last question. Um, out of the films, soaps, t TV books, who do you think is the best dad? Celebrity, like kind of celebrity, celebrity team yeah, anything. Yeah, see, because I, I was talking to Scott yeah. like this when I met him, I did a project with the um, Teenage Pregnancy Unit in Birmingham. And I actually did a session with the yeah. dads where we took, I took loads of photos along of celebrity dads and said, can you describe what the, the positive features of these guys are not so positive? It's difficult, I think, in terms of what they said. They said about um, David Beckham, he's a good dad because he's got lots of time to spend with his kids. He's sporty, so he's not like fat and he's not going to just sit on, on whatever and not yeah. do anything. Then negatively, you can't discipline the kids because he sounds like a girl when he talks. <laughs> so there's lots of things. I think it's difficult because we wanted to try, and in terms of our website and all of my work, I wanted to find a good role model dad that we could promote. Yeah. Then you have people like we thought about, like John Terry, Wayne Rooney, yeah. and then they kind of shot themselves <laughs> in the foot, really. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Um, but then Homer Simpson, yeah. people, people yeah, like say Simpson. not Homer Simpson because he does this, he strangles Bart yeah. and things, but I did but something, yeah, yeah. It's kind of, I did something for the Father Institute and I said about the fact that he's a good role model as a dad sometimes because yeah. he's good enough and he does what's yeah. needed, there's no point giving a stereotype yeah. of oh this is the perfect dad, you're never going to make mistakes, you're never going to shout at the kids, you need the yeah. balance, I think Homer's a good one, mm -hmm. Homer's quite a good one. Uh, great.